So, MS Teams avatars have hit, they've landed. Want to know how to get started with them? Continue watching. So I'm here in Teams right now. You'll notice that the, the footage is a bit grainy. Um, when there's just one person in Teams, this is what happens. But as you invite people to your meetings, the footage gets sharper. And this is the same for your avatar. And I'm going to just show you how to get going with your avatars. So if you go to the three little dots at the top of your screen, you will now notice that effects and avatars should be a new feature for you if this has been enabled. Once you go into there, you've got an avatars tab. And I've already set up uh, an avatar, but I'm going to show you how to set up another one. You can have up to three, um, depending on your mood and the vibe, whether it's a formal or an informal meeting. Um, and this is how it works. So once you click edit avatar, your avatar builder will appear on the screen. And I'm going to just click to add a new one. And I'm going to duplicate the one that I've already created for ease because I've worked at trying to get it to look a bit like me. Um, so let's just duplicate that one, but we can customize it. So once you come in and start to play with this, you can see that you can change your body shape. You can even add prosthetics. Um, very thoughtful of Microsoft, change your skin tone. I'm going to change my hair. I'm going to go for a bit of a, a downdo. Let's go with that. No, does that work? Hmm, more of a sad part, maybe. Let's see. Something that maybe go a long one. Looks a bit better on me. There's so many to choose from. And once you decide, you can change your hair color. You can even change the tone of your hair. Let's go with this. So you can see, you can play around with accent colors, hair colors, if you really want to get into the detail. Um, you can change the color of your eyes, um, the color of your lipstick. You can put on a hearing aid. Um, we've also got things like wardrobe. So you've got your underlay, your outerwear. You could change the colors of all of that, including headwear and eyewear. So I'm just going to change my top and put on, let's see, let's put on a t-shirt, I think. Weather's getting a bit warmer here in the UK. So I'm going to put on a t-shirt and change the color to orange, maybe a bit brighter, lighter. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay, so my avatar is all set. I can just save that and come back and customize it at any point. But let me just go back to the meeting and I can show you now that that's there. So if I just click on it and apply, I will now change into my avatar. Here it comes. Just loading up now. There I am. And you can see that as I speak, my lips move. Um, but what isn't yet available in the functionality is the ability to move our hands and for our gestures and facial expressions to show. Um, and so my favorite feature is the avatar reactions, as you can see here. So there are loads of reactions. Let me just show you so we've got a bit of space. Um, okay, so we have the, let's get rid of that. We've got the, the wave. Um, let's show more of them. Um, peace out. You can just have a real good play with these. Um, but what you can also do is pin the ones that you want to use regularly. So like the yes nod um, is quite a helpful one that you might use quite a lot in meetings. Um, maybe you want to be using the, uh, let's see, the thinking gesture. You can just pin that and you can pin up to five gestures that you can easily access but I think once you get used to these it's a bit like using um the, like emojis where you know where they are you can use them um, as much or as little as you want and there's the um aristocrat bow for you what I would add about the whole use of um gestures it's a bit like emojis you can overdo it and get caught up into looking for the next cool emoji rather than actually using emojis for effect so I would just think quite carefully about how you use emojis but they are pretty awesome Mwah. um final thing to share with you is the background so you can um, change your background let's see so here we've got the different backgrounds that you can select go with any and just click apply for all of this to show in your meeting And there you have it. Avatars are here. Enjoy.